Hello, 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 hello. How's it going? It is Matt and it is Fiendish Friday and I am back at you with yet another review. Before I roll on to anything, I want to wish each and every one of you a great morning, evening, dawn, day or dusk. All that lovely stuff because life really is too short as is. Do me a really huge favor and like, share, and subscribe. I love seeing your beautiful faces when you are here. I know I'm here an awful lot, but I have an awful lot to review on my plate. And with all that said in mind, check out the description box. I give you your brief synopsis, which I actually wrote today's synopsis, which is why it sucks. Because uh, I'm a, I'm a talker, not a writer. I give you your brief, or uh, your starring cast, your director, runtime of the cut I am watching, along with a link for a trailer, a link for where you can watch this bad boy for free, and a link for if you decide you could toss me a couple of bucks and help support the channel. Uh, with all that said in mind, let's get on to the film of the day, and today's came out back in 2015, I believe, and it is only about 21 minutes long. It is known as Dead Beat. What a film. Uh, it is essentially uh, about a guy who is a deadbeat. Uh, he meets a girl, uh, has a one night stand with her. The next morning, she is awakened by him and his ex arguing and fighting in the living room about his uh, duties of being a father. Uh, the ex is, is, is very sick and tired of his stuff. He doesn't give her a dime. He doesn't, doesn't come see his child. Um, she they are now going to move out of state because her new significant other has received a, a job offer that she is going that he is going to accept <coughs> so with all that said in mind the girl the girl is standing in the in 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 a doorway and she and they finally realize that she's standing there watching all this going on the loser deadbeat says it's not what you think it is girl one night stand um says yes this is exactly what you think it is and they proceed to leave um both the ex and then shortly thereafter the one night stand um uh which was very uh uh um kind of a um a a really good scene in general. I think that they all did a very good job acting in that scene. Um, she comes back at a later time and she says, oh, hey, guess what? The one night stand does and says, guess what? I am pregnant. And of course, the first things out of his mouth are, can't you get rid of it? It's not my responsibility. Don't you think that's your problem? Things along those lines. So he is a real asshole. Um, definitely somebody who, who, if I was looking for a partner, I would not want that. Um, he is definitely very egotistical, um, real big, just giant asshole. Uh, she, she then proceeds to just touch him on his stomach. She just gives him a little touch. And then eventually, um, he starts the next day, he starts feeling really nauseous. He's having morning sickness. Um, he's putting on weight. Uh, it looks like he's he's gaining breasts. Um, he is doing everything that a pregnant woman would have. Um, he is now going through each and every one of those things. It gets very intense in places. Um, it's uh, uh, it's quite the treat to see um, him go through this struggle because he you do not like him whatsoever and you want to see everything bad in the world happen to this guy. That's how how diabolical this dude is. He is that much of an asshole. Um, he then uh, is is uh, visited by by the ex. They are moving for sure. He decides he wants to see his child one last time. This does not happen. Um, they then go go along their way. He eventually gets into the point to where he is going through labor. And where do you think a baby will come out of? And not his anus, but his penis. Um, it gets very intense at that part. It's kind of, kind of, kind of like, whoa. It uh, definitely uh, made me think of the movie Fetus, the Brian Pollen film. Um, not quite as gnarly or as graphic as Fetus, but it definitely is one that it, it's, it's pretty brutal. Uh, it, uh, um, 
has some fun special effects for that. Uh, eventually, the late, the one night stand does come back and she takes the baby and off she goes. End of story. Very interesting film. Being only 21 minutes, it really gives you a lot of information in that short while. Um, it does a very good job with acting. Um, on my three things that I like my, my movies to meet, um, audio, it does a great job. It, it doesn't have any lagging or any bad spots in it where I couldn't understand what is being said. Um, it, it works 100%. So it gets an A on audio. Dialogue is where it wins. Um, it has very good dialogue going on for it. It definitely um, is modern, hip, and still fresh. Um, granted, it is coming up on, on eight years old, almost nine years old now. Um, it is a, a still very fresh feeling kind of movie because, because of the dialogue and the lingo that they're using. So it definitely, it gets an A plus on that side of the aspect. Now on to editing. Editing for only 21 minutes, the editing is, is good. It definitely doesn't, um, uh, go off in any strange directions. Uh, it stays right steady with the pace. Um, it stays with your story that you're supposed to stick with. There's no crazy side stories going on. Um, it definitely, uh, does a very, very smooth job on that end. Um, I really liked this. Now on, that gets an A as well. So we have an A, an A plus, and an A. On the one through five scale, this one's going to get a 3.5 out of five. It is almost a four. Um, it's not quite there yet. Um, if it would have been maybe five more minutes longer, I think it would have got that four because I wanted to see a little more with this story. Um, I thought it did a very good job. It makes me really excited to check out the next one from West, West Second Productions, which is, um, uh, Souvenirs of a Hitchhiker, uh, which looks very good as well. Um, I will be doing that on the uh, it's next week on the 10th so look forward to that all right guys this is a short review for a short film i'm gonna get the hell out of here i hope all of y'all have a fantastic weekend and i'll see you tomorrow uh tomorrow will be uh what do i have uh final summer and then like animator on sunday so look forward to those movies as well all right guys love your faces and i'll see you tomorrow peace